Ivan and welcome back to my channel. Today I just want to share with you very quickly a short video this time I promise um, about a traditional Ghanaian engagement that I got to go to. This is my first ever one actually in Ghana so it was a really enjoyable experience, um, quite eye-opening as well. Um, the day basically, I'll just recap a little bit for you. It was filled with lots of storytelling about how the bride and the groom met each other. They told a story of how you know he was thirsty and she brought him some water. It was the coldest water you could ever get and she presented it perfectly to him and then he asked her her name, her family name and this is how they kind of hooked up. But it's really interesting. And then you have an MC who will also tell stories and sing songs at random, you know, and then everyone gets up and dances a little bit. It was really, really nice, honestly. I thought it was actually gonna be really boring. I'm not joking, I, I really, I was prepared for like two hours of almost torture, but I, I'm pleased to say I didn't experience that. I was really, really, seriously, I was like, when it was finished, I was like, whoa, where's the time gone? But hey, it was really good. A lot of it was in Ghana, which I don't understand, but there were bits that were in English and I had also had someone translating for me, so I really enjoyed it, guys. I'm not just saying that because the bride will probably watch this. <laughs> no, it really was really, really good. I really enjoyed it and I was surprised that it was over so quickly. But seriously, if you want to marry a Ghanaian girl, honestly, you best have your pockets full because you're gonna, you're gonna go through the mill. I'm just being real here. You are going to pay some serious bride price. You must bring those presents. You must bring the sika, the money. I mean, seriously, you have to be prepared. You have to be prepared financially for this. This is a big thing. As you can tell from where I'm speaking, I didn't actually do that when I got married, um, simply because I was so young at the time, and it would have been just it would just been too much for us. And um, I think I was too westernized at the time to actually really understand about culture and tradition and all that stuff so we didn't do it and to be honest um, I don't really regret it. It's a nice thing to do but I don't personally regret that we didn't do that. Um, we just did the, the white wedding and that was, that was enough, that was sufficient, that was enough money spent, let's put it that way. I don't believe, I'm not one of these people that believes in spending thousands and thousands and thousands of pounds, dollars, cities, whatever you want to call it um, on one day, on, on a one day event. But that's me but anyway everyone's different you know so hey guys but uh keep watching because there are some other really interesting stuff that happened in the video not just a traditional wedding we've got some beach shenanigans on there as well i mean seriously guys if you guys believe in things that are strange and how i don't know how to really put it anyway stay tuned and watch for yourself guys okay i'm gonna stop talking now because as you know i can really talk a lot okay so guys stay tuned and peace
Cool.